Hey everyone. <clears throat> um, this is a response video to um, some of the people that I've had comments from um, about the rotor videos. This is actually a diagram out of uh, a motor builder's handbook. Okay, freely available across the internet, um, drawn up by someone that actually knows what they're doing. Now, um, I said in the last video, um, go and research it. Okay, the wind's going to pick up. <clears throat> I said in the vi last video, go and research it. Now, what's blatantly obvious to me is that there's too many people out there that don't research properly. Look, I'm going to be straight up and honest. There's a lot of dumb people that try to be professionals okay now I don't care how many thumbs down I get on this video the truth is the truth okay <clears throat> now as I stated in my last video the rotor the rotor coils are joined in one big coil okay okay you can see it there you can see 11 and 12 come off they go to over here to 11 and 12 okay there's there's not a, a connection here that is not individually terminated okay it's one big coil and all of these segments here every single segment has two coils going to it now it doesn't take a rocket scientist to follow the schematic there's nothing hard about this only dumb people argue facts okay dumb people argue facts look for the lies because there's lots of lies out there okay the carbon brush you can see that's connected to six and seven how many coils can you see on that schematic that also come back to 18 and 19 okay how many coils how many coils can you see that come back to 18 and 19 it's not rocket science, it's not hard. Okay, there's there's far too many people out there that are blatantly stating facts incorrectly. Okay, they're, they're saying this is a fact and it's not a fact. Okay, the fact is if you follow that diagram, there's definitely one coil that comes back to the other carbon brush and there's possibly a second coil that comes back to the carbon brush through terminal six okay so on on segment seven there's definitely one coil that comes back to 19 on segment six you'll be able to find another coil that comes back to 18 and at any one time there's two coils that are connected directly across the carbon brushes so again, back to our analogy, you can see here, if that and that segment are connected, then this coil is the low impedance coil, okay? These coils are high impedance coils, one, two, three, four coils. So the current that's connected to this segment here and this segment here will have two paths to flow okay the first path which is the easiest path to flow is through the lowest impedance okay the lowest resistance if you want to call it resistance resistance <coughs> you have to excuse me I've got COVID there we go Get the, the, try and fix the wind up um, <coughs> okay so um, do I even really need to do this video um, or are people just gonna wallow in mud for the rest of their life um, look you know how do I how do I even say this nice and politely when you understand simple things but make them complicated you've got to ask the question why are people out there making something that's simple complicated 
uh, when you're wrong, you're wrong. Okay? The schematics, the diagrams of a universal motor show what's going on. Okay, the carbon brushes show that on the commutator segments, at any one time, there's two coils that is connected directly across the carbon brushes. The rest of the coils are in series, which are a high impedance, a high resistance. Okay, so the current is not going to flow through the high resistance the same as what it will flow through the low resistance. A dual path circuit. Okay, there's two paths. There's an easy path and there's a hard path. There's a path that you've got to go over all these mountains. Okay, and then there's a path that you just go through a small valley. It's really not hard. It's really not rocket science. You know, some people, again, some of these so-called professionals are trying to tell people something that's totally, totally, totally wrong. And it stands out like a sore thumb. To be honest, it stands out like a sore thumb. It really does. Um, look for lies, because there's lots of them. Um, look for lies. There's, there's, there's quite a few people trying to um, mislead people de deliberately. Um, I did actually start going through and marking out with a, with a red texture the coils that are connected directly across the carbon brushes. Um, I know what's going on. Anyone with half a brain in their head can work out what's going on. And what is being told, the, the, the statement that all coils have the same current going through that was made, is wrong. Okay, you can falsify experiments all day long. And at the end of the day, it does not prove the truth. The truth of the matter is, this is the analogy, okay? Each one of these coils here represents a coil on the rotor. Each one of these solder connections here represents a segment on the commutator. And any time the carbon brushes, one, two, any time the carbon brushes are connected directly across the segments at any one time, there is two coils that have the least impedance, the least resistance, the maximum current. The rest of the coils are sharing the current, sharing the voltage drop, sharing the path of most resistance. Okay, now you could do the same thing with the resistors on the bench. Okay, what you could do is you, you could put 30 resistors on a bench, join them all in series, in a big loop, okay, and then power one resistor. Okay, it's pretty easy, it's pretty simple to work out. It's pretty simple. There is nothing complicated here, but it seems to me that there's some people out there that find this extremely complicated, extremely hard to fathom. Okay, go and look for this schematic, go and look for this diagram because it's openly available on the internet and you can work out if you want to, if that is, because I think there's some people out there that just don't want to, you can work out what I've said is true. It's really not hard. Okay, people come on, you're going to have to pick your act up a bit, you're going to have to get your, get your the smarts on okay the proof is right here in front of you okay openly available okay em junkies bush bench is um got a bit of wind on it at the moment um look it'd be really nice to see some smart people come out and and actually do a proper experiment uh and actually show what the actual diagrams the design of the universal motor um, is actually showing um, you know I mean let's face it if I put a, a, a benchtop power supply in the tree over there and a, and a coil in the tree over there okay and then I ran some wires to the bottom of the tree and then 
connected two leaves to three leaves on the other side of the tree and and then had four worms that were biting on the leaves and um, you know you sort of get the analogy that <clears throat> some of these experiments are really just um, just rubbish you know honestly people look I'm gonna say it first time I've ever said it it's time for some people to get their shit together because honestly it, it's a joke it's pathetic it really is um, some people are just drongos uh, following drongos acting like drongos the schematic proves it okay look for the least the path of least resistance there's two there look for it okay and then at the same time there's a path of maximum resistance so don't believe um, epic fail experiments don't believe what you see on on a YouTube video go and do the research yourself okay again I've just shown you this this is a schematic that's out of a universal motor builders book you know it's not hard it's not rocket science go and do the research there's people out there that just don't know so learn find out figure it out okay look people I want to wish you all well look after your loved ones look after yourself take care of everybody around you um, to be honest uh, it just just on, on this one of the reasons I haven't started up high IQ and um, above unity.com just at the moment is to be honest I'm a, I'm a little bit disheartened with the mental abilities of some people um, like I've said before in the past, AboveUnity.com members have come uh, of their own free will. They've learned uh, technology that's extremely simple. They have running machines. They openly share their running machines. The evidence is there. If people go and look. But... Uh, some people are just too lazy, okay? We're light, he light years, absolutely light years ahead of some of the other people out there. Okay, there's been promises made, promises made, promises made, promises made, promises made for decades. And none of those promises have ever come through. Now, people need to start waking up and think to themselves, Oh, XYZ over there, they're, they're doing it. They're building, building a free energy machine. Okay, well, has it ever come out? Is there any open experiments on the internet that can prove it, can show it? No. Get off your asses, people. Get off your asses and do it. I've given you everything you need to know. I have given you everything you need to know. Get off your asses and do it. Get off your asses and look for the facts. Get off your asses and look for the truth. Because to be blatantly honest, there's so many armchair keyboard junkies out there they just don't know what they're doing. They would rather spout off on a YouTube channel with nothing, continue to show nothing, and get nowhere. You know, humanity really is going to have to get it together. If if you know if you want a future, you're going to have to get it together. Now I haven't paid a power bill since February last year. I really wish people would get it together, you know. It's, it's sort of pretty funny when you see some things going on. Anyway, rambling again. Everybody, stay safe, stay well. Look after your loved ones, look after yourself. Take care of those close to you. Uh, you know, I think it's important. You know, I, I get pretty cranky sometimes and... This video is a bit of a cranky video, okay? Uh, but I still want everybody to look after each other. I still want everybody to, to love each other, to treat each other how you want to be treated. Because to be blatantly honest, the, the world's in a bit of a shit fight at the moment. Um, and it's not getting any better anytime soon. So take care of yourselves, take care of your loved ones, look after those close to you, be good to each other, and do the research, okay?
best wishes